All right, so I wanted to make a quick discussion video concerning a potential trilogy fight between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. Now, both fighters are, um, they've had two fights in the past. Nate Diaz has won the first fight via rear naked choke submission. Conor McGregor won the second fight by decision. In this video, I want to discuss um, what how they would do and a third bout and if anyone is interested in seeing a third fight between these two guys all right so right now connor is kind of tied up uh with the uh habib situation and what happened in their fight so they're waiting to uh see how that plays out He's saying that he wants to uh, have a rematch with a B, but if anyone saw that fight, I'm not sure it would be a great idea for him to hop right in there uh, for a rematch with a B. I'm not sure it would be great on his legacy or just his health in general. Okay, so if Connor comes back, uh, well, okay, first off, there were rumblings. I don't know if it was made official and then turned unofficial with uh, him supposed to be fighting Cowboy Cerrone. Um, in my opinion, that seems more like a contender's fight, like maybe the winner of that fight would get a potential match with uh, Habib. I, I'm not positive that's the route Conor McGregor should be going. Um, you know, at this point uh, in his career, I know he still wants to be the best, but he is, you know more in like a money fight situation to where why not you know come back and instead of chasing after a title shot with Habib which I don't want to say Connor can't win that fight because anything can happen in a in an MMA fight is I feel like if he could catch him early in the fight maybe knock him out or anything like I don't see him winning any other way though than, uh, you know, a possible knockout early in, in, in the fight or just catching him uh, later on in the fight because uh, any decision victory, I feel like Habib's just going to grind that out with his wrestling. But, uh, you know, Nate Diaz, he hasn't, he hasn't actually fought in a while, and he is holding out for the money. Last I heard, Nate Diaz was uh, interested in being paid $20 million for a trilogy fight with Conor McGregor, which I think he should get, especially if uh, the UFC can make uh, anywhere from one to three, get one to three million pay-per-view buys for that fight. You know, you need to pay the guys money. Um, Conor's probably going to start making any. <laughs> I mean, I don't know after the Habib fight, but this guy's probably going to be making in the range of 30 to uh, $40 million a fight, you know, uh, kind of being like the uh, MMA Floyd Mayweather. Um, but anyways, to, just to keep it short, what do you guys feel like um, if Nate Diaz comes back, should he fight someone else or should he be more geared to try to get that trilogy fight with Connor. You know, that's the biggest payday. That's what him and his brother are both waiting for are the money fights. I don't think they're interested in contender fights anymore or just fighting, you know, normal guys. They want to go after those big money fights. I think that's why Nick declined to fight um, Jorge Masvidal. Um, you know, he, he wants a big fight. He wants a big payday if he comes back. Uh, you know, later on in his career, yeah, you know, he's he's not as young as he used to be. He knows he probably doesn't have a long, long career ahead of him. So he wants to try to get paid these last few fights that he does have. So what do you guys think? You think uh, Nate should come back, try to, you know, do a contender fight, or should he go for the trilogy? That's what I want to see with Conor McGregor. With Conor McGregor, what do you think he should do? you think he should chase that uh, rematch with Habib? which could possibly not turn out too well for him again? Or should he, you know, be looking for uh, the biggest sell, which would be the Diaz trilogy fight? You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Much love.